Okay, here we are for another episode of Low Carb, Lots of Flavor. Today we're having ourselves a little pork party. We're going to be making a lovely Brussels sprouts with onion and bacon and walnuts. And then we're going to, after that, we're going to be making a lovely pan seared pork loin with a creamy, savory apple pan sauce. Delicious. Okay, so first up, what we're going to be making here is a lovely dish that involves Brussels sprouts, bacon, onion, and walnut. This would be a fantastic dish uh, for Thanksgiving. Okay, first up, bacon in the pan. You can also use um, some sort of nice, salty, fatty, delicious pork product. And as you can see, the bacon is fried out quite nicely. We want that to get a little bit crispy, and we'll add in some onion. Saving a little bit of onion for our pan sauce for the pork tenderloin. That smells amazing. Onions are a bit translucent. I'll go ahead and add in our Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna get a nice fine slice on those. It's probably got it right there. And toss those so they cook nicely. Okay, so the Brussels sprouts have sauteed here for oh maybe seven minutes or so. And that's when we're going to go ahead and add in walnuts, chops, saute that for another couple minutes and then we'll plate it up. And cut. Here, we'll go ahead and back in the bowl. It's my style, I like to just put it right back in there. Now as you can see, we've got a lot of delicious pond down in there. Balsamic vinegar. And that will be your sauce, the Brussels sprouts. Round two of our pork party. This is gonna be our pan seared pork tenderloin. And then we'll finish it and make a nice savory apple pan cream sauce. So I've got a full pork, pork tenderloin here. I've cut it in half so that it'll fit in the pan better. I'm going to go ahead and season salt and pepper nicely. Uh, I've said in previous videos that I really enjoy seasoning on a plate. That way you can roll it around and just mop up all that delicious flavor. Okay, a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Take our pork here and just roll it around so you can absorb all that flavor. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna make sure you hear that when you put it in the pan, otherwise, it's not hot enough. You gotta let your pan warm up a little more. You want your pan just a little bit hotter than you really want it. This way, uh, when the pork hits it, it cools it down a little bit, you'll still get your perfect sear. Okay, so the pork has been searing for just a few minutes here. You want your pan very high heat so that you get a beautiful sear on each side. It's going to be about four sides for the pork tenderloin like that. Look at that color. That is incredible. That pork's pretty much seared on all sides. Add just a teaspoon of butter. And we're going to put the pork into a 375 degree oven for, oh, maybe 10 minutes. Probably not even. And that'll bring it up to temp. And then we can work on our 
Lovely pan sauce. Okay, so the pork had to go about 15 minutes. Apparently it wasn't quite up to room temperature. And now we're gonna make the sauce. Add a little bit of grass-fed butter. And to that, we'll start it off with the reserved onions. See how the onions absorb all that flavor that just stuck on the bottom of the pan? They've already changed colors. That's why it's, it's beautiful to cook the pork and they create a sauce right in the pan it was cooked in. You can see the pork here is resting. Uh, I took it to about 135 and it's going to rest to about 145 and that would be about medium that's how I like my pork cooked you can definitely go a little bit more but don't really have to this is a lovely organic Fuji apple that we've diced up it's going in pork and apple is a really good combination basically what we're looking to do here is have this start to reduce and melt down and it's just gonna be like a thick apple saucy gravy. Just gonna go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And we're using apple cider vinegar because we have apples in the sauce. Just a little. You can also use water. I just like a little bit of a little bit of that acidity. My pan sauce. Perfect. Okay, so I've added just a, about a tablespoon of butter and a few tablespoons of water and it's reduced down quite a bit. So what you want to do is take all the drippings from the pork and get that in there. That's delicious. And we also want to add a small amount of mustard. of apple cider vinegar just to give it a little bit more tang. Mm. Nice and tangy, has a lovely bit of sweetness and just want to finish it with a little bit of heavy cream. Okay, and we'll plate pork just like that. Lovely. And we take the sauce. Top. And there you have a lovely pork tenderloin with a delicious sauce. All right, and that concludes another episode of Low Carb, lots of flavor. We've got delicious Brussels sprouts with bacon and onion and walnuts. And then we've got our pan seared pork tenderloin. Me and Tom are gonna dig into this and be laughing. Until next time, cheers. Avec ma vie, mon petit chez moi, mon mal de tête, mon poids au foie, j'y pense et puis j'oublie.